On today's video, is floral carbon fishing line really harder to see under the water than other types of fishing line? Well, let's find out. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, like I said earlier, is floral carbon fishing line harder to see under the water than other types of fishing line? Well, I did a little science experiment and I thought I'd show you guys the results, okay? Now, this clip is just a small portion of another video that I did on fishing line, okay? That video dealt with like many different characteristics of the different types of fishing line okay i think that video is called like mono floral braid which fishing line is best for you okay so if you're interested in in really looking at all the different characteristics of fishing line check that video out it's at my channel Canada's practical outdoors but for this video we're just going to look at the visibility or invisibility of floral carbon compared to other types of fishing line okay so check it out. All right, well here's one of our little science experiments. We've got this piece of duct tape with a few pieces of fishing line uh, tape to it. Got mono, floral carbon, braid, all right. And we got the brands in the background prospectively. We've got the Trilene Mono, we've got the uh, Berkeley Vanish floral carbon, and we've got the Power Pro braid, okay. And just to make a note, the the mono is actually in the clear, okay? It's not, it's not colored, it's not light green or low-vis green, it's actually the clear, okay? And I think you'll be able to see, when you stick these down in the water, okay, the braid really stands out a lot, right? The braid uh, is very visible in this uh, clear water. And the mono, uh, you, you can kind of see that mono too, even though it's in the, in the clear, type but that floral the one in the middle that just seems to disappear when you stick it down in the water you know and that's that uh, index of refraction right the index of refraction for floral carbon uh, is is very close to the same as the index of refraction of water that's the way it was explained to me uh, by my buddy so anyways like I said you can see Floral carbon really is a pretty stealthy approach, especially in clear water. Okay, so what did we learn from that experiment? Okay, first of all, the braid. Braid was fairly easy to see under the water. Monofilament, okay. We, uh, you know, we used the clear monofilament. We didn't use a colored monofilament. We actually used the clear, but you can still kind of see it under the water. Okay, you know, I mean, it's pretty stealthy, you know. It's, it's, it's a good option when you're looking for stealth, okay. But it is not as stealthy as the floral carbon, right? That floral carbon really seemed to disappear under the water. If you're really looking for that uh, invisibility or that stealthiness, probably a floral carbon is your best option. All right, guys. Hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.